what have we got in front of us, Tams? And what, how does it play out? What does Peter do in the first 200 metres of the race? Oh, the tactics we, we saw in Tokyo were really important. We wanted a faster pace so that he could sit in on, on it. And he had to do the leading. In a perfect world, another runner will take the pace. It'll be fast, so it'll run off some of those, those kickers. And Pete will sit in, and with about 300 metres to go, he'll start to gradually move around the shoulder and get to the front with 200 to go. So here's the line-up. Bowl right in the middle there, as you can see. On this beautiful night, so... Packed house. Great anticipation. Mavaski Anderson of Jamaica goes from lane number nine, the outside lane. National record at the NCAAs earlier this year, the Collegiate Championships. Here's one of the dangers, Jamie Weaver. You want to see impressively from England. He's a 144 man. Yeah, the chemistry teacher, he is a big danger. And so might Ben Patterson, just 20 years of age, the European junior champion from last year and a heat winner as well. And he's got a bit of cockiness about him. He's going to play to the crowd here. Well, he does have a sprint background, so he's <laughs> used to that. Amankwa there of Ghana. And now it's our man. Well, after his heroics of Tokyo, he became a household name. He goes from the hunter to the hunter, though. It's his time to dominate. No one has ever won the 1500 metres twice. That's what Kinyamal's trying to do here. Become the first. He won four years ago. And then Galeamouth of Scotland. He's a big guy, isn't he? Trains alongside Pete Bowl, coached by, they've got the same coach, Justin Rinaldi. And then Masilo of Botswana, personal best at 144 and just over a half. He was in Tokyo, didn't get through the heats. So a couple from England and then a spread. On your marks. It's arrived, the moment, they're off. And Peter, as you would expect, is out positively. Where does he push through? So Anderson's on the outside. The man quite looks like he's pushing up. Bowl starts to accelerate. Kinyamul's inside of him. So Peter with some clear running room at the moment. So important, you don't get checked early. He just got turned slightly side on there after 200 metres. Not quick, a bit of jostling. Bowls where he likes to be, outside the defending champion. Anderson covering ground, then Patterson, webbed three from the back. It's slowish and it's tight, isn't it? It is slower than we would have liked, except people will, will have learned a lot from his Tokyo final. He's sitting in the exact position that he should be. He can cover any moves wide, but he's not going to get stuck on the railing. So the two men in this field that made the World Championship final two weeks ago lead them. One lap to go in the 800 metre final. Kinyamal leads from Bowl of Australia. Amankwan, Learmont, and then Webb. They start to accelerate in the back straight. Peter's in the perfect spot. He goes past Kimnyal. Kimnyal kicks back. They are literally stride for stride. Webb, Learmont. Kimnyal's got away from Peter here. He's a half metre in front. Bowl's got to gather himself here. He's got to relax. Kimnyal leads by two metres. Bowl's not done. It's a big lead, though. A gap to Amanquan and then Patterson. Peter's got to find something in the stretch. Find it, he might. Kimanyal leads. Bowl's rallying. He's a metre and a half behind. He's a metre behind. He's closing, closing, closing. Kimanyal in front. Bowl won't quite do it. And Kimanyal becomes the first to win it twice. And Bowl gets the silver and Patterson the bronze. Pete Bowl did everything he possibly could then. He got into the right position. He covered the move at 300 metres when Kinyamal made that move. And we're talking about a quality athlete in Kinyamal. Pete Bowl has still done us very proud. I know people expected him to win that gold, but we're talking about an athlete who's the defending champion, and there is nothing more Pete Bowl could have done. He put himself in the right position, he kicked when he had to, and he finished strong to that line. I hope that everyone in Australia is very proud with Pete Bowl because we certainly are. What I loved about him, with 150 to go, he was in trouble. But he actually composed himself 
And with 50 metres to go, there was the remote chance that he might have done an Ollie Hoare. It wasn't to be young. Ben Patterson, the 20-year-old, gets the bronze. Kim and Yao made that decisive move, didn't he, with about 250 to go. Peter couldn't respond at the time, and he had to just hang on. And then he did raise a really strong effort over the last 100 metres and really hit the line. I'm going to go down to you, Richo. It was, uh, it was a great final. It wasn't quite the result we wanted, but Peter, as always, can hold his head oh so highly after the 800 final. Commonwealth Games silver medal is an incredible achievement, Peter Bolt. Firstly, congratulations, mate. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, man, what an environment, what an atmosphere. So close, but, uh, you know, we take second today, so I'm pretty happy with that, uh, to be honest. Um, it's a strange race again and super slow, uh, but that's the 800, super tactical. You put yourself in the right position, though, and then about 200 metres, the defending champ, Put the uh, foot down on the pedal. You went with him. Take us through it. Yeah, I thought, stay relaxed, stay relaxed, stay relaxed. But he's so strong. He kept going and kept going. Um, but that's racing, man. I raced the best way I could and came a little bit short. But we still got a medal in the Commonwealth Games. So we're second, so that's pretty good. Life, life has changed so much from you. You've gone from the hunter to the hunted. Did you feel that today? Yeah, um, I mean, there's a lot of pressure. Uh, there's a lot of noise, but that's sport. That's what we do it for, and that's what we love. Um, every athlete knows what they're up against. So, uh, to be to be favourite and come second, I'm pretty happy with it. Mate, so you should be really proud of it. You talk about love. What about your family, mate? They've been kind enough to let us put some cameras in, and they look like they're having a great fun doing it. Check out this monitor. Have a look. Have a look at them all. <laughs> this is them watching the race. Have a look at this. <laughs> There was already a dance party before this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. How good is that, mate? So good. I love them, miss them so much, and can't wait to get back home and celebrate with them. It would be awesome. Oh, that is fantastic. Is there anyone in particular back home that's been so important to you, part of this journey, that you want to say something to? I mean, we speak of this journey, and um, I think if you look at the timeline, there's different people through different years. But a massive thanks to my family, especially my parents. They've been from the start of timeline right through here. So I'm so grateful for them. Um, this is for them. This is for my family. This is for the country. So yeah, and um, there's a little kid out there that had a Peter Bowl sign. So that's definitely for him. I gotta go find him. There's a lot of kids with, a, with Peter Bowl signs, mate. We love everything you do and we look forward to the next step in this journey. Well done, Peter. Thank you, sir. I love you guys. Cheers. Appreciate it.